second semi-final and four contenders battle it out for the last two places in the Gladiators final 2009. I'm just going to go out there, do my best. Don't take any prisoners, just go for it. There's controversy on the pyramid. The rules are very clear that if you do that, you are disqualified. And the Gladiators grow tired of the contenders. Bring a friend with you and I'll take you both on. I'm loving it. And with me as always, the gorgeous Caroline Flack. Caroline, how are you feeling about today? I'm feeling extremely excited. All the better to see you, Ian. <laughs> Thank you very much. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I can't wait any longer, so let's bring on the four men and women who have beaten over 9,990 people to get here. It's Hannah, Steph, Justin and David! And now they're just 16 minutes away from the final and a shot and a share of 50,000 pounds. OK, let's see how they're feeling before the biggest night of their lives. Please welcome our first female semi-finalist tonight. It's Anna Creelman from Scarborough. Qualifying as the fastest loser, Hannah's ready to prove she's a winner. I'm really ecstatic to get through for the semi-finals. I'm not playing around anymore and I know that I've got a lot more to give. During the heats, Hannah sensationally removed battle axe from Earthquake for five points. In the quarterfinals, Hannah bravely lasted 15 seconds on duel against the unbeatable Panther. She then outjumped Cyclone on Rocket Ball. She got an early soaking in hit and run. I saw Tempest Ball coming towards me and I ran into it thinking I was some sort of hero that I could just shove it off. And then Hannah found Tempest too hot to handle on the wall. In one of the closest eliminators of the series, Hannah finished just behind fellow contender Emma Piper, but an impressive time saw her through to the semi-finals. So congratulations. I know what I have to do to get through to the final. This round, I'm really going to up my game and go for it. So, Anna, it's the semi-finals. Did you ever think that you would have made it to the semis? I never, ever thought I would get through a scrape through by the fastest loser. Never thought I would get this fast. I'm going to take this chance and push myself as much as I can. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Good, OK. Our first game tonight is Jewel, and fighting for the Gladiators is the powerhouse. That is Battle Axe. 
It's the first duel of the series for Battle Axe, so she'll want to start tonight's show with a bang. It's the first game in this vital semi-final. Can the brutal Battle Axe be beaten? Let's duel! Duel! And his family and friends willing her on to a great start in tonight's first game. Contender! Ready? Having seen her lose twice to Panther on Jewel, Hannah's dad is hoping she can Gladiator. chop down Battle Axe. Ready? This is one gladiator who hates to lose. On guard! Three, two, one! And Battle Axe wastes no time getting in some solid hits, but Hannah's standing strong. The gladiator landing an absolute barrage of blows to Hannah's head. Well, Battle Axe follows up with another clean hit, but she can't knock Hannah off. Hannah's putting up a great fight here. Battle Axe pummels her once again, and that's it. What a great start to the show. Battle Axe should get a job in demolition. She's very good at it. What a fantastic effort that was. You must be pleased. You were nervous before yeah. you went up there. You gave her a good run for her money. She's hitting you pretty hard, Anna. Yeah, she leans really far forwards um, all the time, so her hits aren't actually that hard. Mm. I'm going in for that, girl. I'm and, ready for it. And yeah. you're, you're going to be facing Battle Axe again later on in the pyramid. Yeah. You're going to fuel you? We'll meet again. OK, unlucky to Anna, no points there. But let's meet Anna's opponent tonight. Our second semi-finalist is Steph Owens from North Wales. Our youngest contender ever steps back to prove she has more than just time on her side. To be in the semi-finals is absolutely amazing. I never thought I'd get this far. In the heat, Steph's impressive win over Enigma helped secure a place in the next round. She was very lucky. In the quarterfinals, Steph scored zero on Hang Tough. On Gauntlet, she was awarded 10 points after foul play by Enigma. She says she tripped, but I think it was really convenient. All of her body weight was on top of me. Battle Axe made short work of her on Suspension Bridge. And Enigma struck again on Powerball as Steph drew a blank. Steph went into the Eliminator with a two-second head start. She did go past me on the pyramid, and I thought, game over. After an exciting battle, the Travelator showed no mercy. All of my power and everything I had left just went into getting up that Travelator. I want it more, and I believe I can get there, so watch out. I ain't gonna give up without a fight. I love you, Steph, our youngest contender. How do you feel about being in the semis, darling? Um, Absolutely over the moon. I never thought I was going to get this far. When I started, I really did think I was going out on the first round, to be honest. No, but you've had an amazing journey. You've got enough juice left because you have done really well. Yeah, definitely. Every time I'm coming through that wall first mm. and the eliminator, just spurring me on to just give that a little bit more. OK, good luck. May the best women win. Over to you, John. Steph's mum and dad here to give their support tonight. Contender! Ready? Steph lost to Panther on duel in the quarterfinals, so she'll want a better showing tonight. Gladiator! Ready! But Battle Axe proved against Hannah, she's no pushover. God! Three, two, one! Here we go, and Steph straight on the attack, showing no fear towards the Gladiator. Pugil sticks flying everywhere. Steph looks composed, but Battle Axe has real power in those arms and just keeps pummeling Steph. Our youngest contender putting in a really mature performance, though. Battle Axe caught Steph then, and she's off balance. The Gladiator tries to finish her off, but Steph isn't budging. Mum knows that Steph's close to five points. And there goes the whistle. What a gutsy battle from the contender. She really earned those five points. And even Battle Axe shows Steph respect as that family goes oh, wild. Fantastic effort, Steph. You said you were afraid of Battle Axe because she's the strongest pamper and everything, and you gave her a really good run for her money. How did you find it up there? That was tough, actually, yes. I was determined to stay on for those five points, and that's what I did, and I was so over the moon. Fantastic effort. Let's remember that was just a draw, so uh, still undefeated. A lot of these contenders come in here, they're all mouth and they think they can really challenge us, but you've got a lot of learning to do. But you've got your five points, you're happy? Yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon, I really am. I think I've just proved that, you know, age isn't everything anymore. I love her! Well done to Steph, great effort for both of our girls up there. Let's take a look at the semi-final scores after Jewel.
Make your own in your own, baby. Steph has certainly come out of the blocks fighting and takes a five-point lead. After the break, our two male semi-finalists begin their quest for a place in the final. But standing in their way to administer a dose of painful reality, it's button! <laughs> On dual. Now it's the boys' turn, so let's meet our first male semi finalist tonight. It's Justin Thompson from Birmingham! With the fastest eliminator of the series, this contender is just incredible. I come on the show to win. You keep aiming and you keep trying, and it will come. In the heat, Justin's explosive pace and power unhinge the gladiators. Big yeah. goal, what does he know? In the quarterfinals, he had a point to prove on Hang Tough. I knew I wasn't in the scoring zone, but I wanted him to know, look, I'm no brush over. But the big O took him down. Yeah, baby! On Gauntlet, Justin took on the Gladiators, especially Warrior. The mouth hit his head. Bam. He ended up covered with blood. Ten points. I was happy with that. He then sensationally knocked Doom off suspension bridge. No. It's not the fact that it was easy, it was a plan. Next, Justin gave Spartan the runaround on Powerball. He had a huge seven-second head start on the elimination.